Um, let's start drawing some stuff. So I'm going to make this one full size just to make it a little easier to see. Um, this is my floor plan view. And I'm going to go to architecture and just start drawing some walls. So I'm going to click wall. And notice once I did that, a lot of stuff happened. All I did was click wall. But up here, see this turned kind of a green color and it says modify and you get this new bar which didn't exist a second ago. Um, this is a lot of the choices that you have as you before you even draw is how do you want Revit to draw. You can tell it just start drawing like randomly and use the default settings or you can adjust them. So right now I'm not actually putting anything in, I'm just going to draw it. But this is where you could change the default setting um, so that once it's drawn, it's drawn correctly. The nice thing with Revit is once you draw something, it's not like it's locked in place. So a lot of times you'll just draw or get an item into the model and then come over here to the properties panel and then use that to kind of help adjust all the settings. So if we go to, we're, we're drawing the wall right now. Um, if I just click and then move my mouse, you'll notice that it starts drawing a wall. And the wall is over here, if you look at the top of the properties panel, it's basic wall generic 8 inches. And that's just the default wall. I haven't changed anything, it's just what Revit gave me. Um, and you'll notice as you move, I clicked once and I'm moving my mouse, that here um, I can move the mouse and I get dimension, so 35 feet to here and then 90 degrees from the vertical. So I can click there, or if I click, there we go, and then I can move in this direction and you can move the mouse to the dimension or if you know the specific dimension, let's say I wanted to go 23 feet, 6 inches, I could do that or you could just, as you're moving over, type in 23 space 6 and hit enter and then see it's drawn that wall there. Um, maybe this way I want to go um, 15 feet. You can add the feet sign like I did there. I'm showing you here on the purple writing. That's my key logger. Or you can just type in 15. Now be careful because the default unit in Revit is feet not inches like it is in AutoCAD. So if you type in 24 thinking you're going to move something 2 feet 20, which would be 24 inches you're actually going to move that object 24 feet away. It's going to like fly out of your building. Or you'll end up with like a wall that's super long when you're just trying to draw something short. And it'll happen all the time. You just un undo. And to undo, let's say I didn't want to do that, you just hit Control Z. And then it will undo. Um, then you can start drawing again. Um, so here we can go. Let's say I wanted to bump this out 5 feet. Come over eight, go back to five. And see here, it's smart. It's snapping to this. And then we can go there. And let's just close this off. Oops, I hit enter and I made that. Um, so I'm going to click the modify here just to get out of that window that I was in. And now let's look at this and see what this really is. So if I click on that, notice how my properties panel right now says floor plan because I don't have anything selected. So it's showing me the settings for the view. But once you select an object in that view, it changes and becomes settings for that object. So in this case, we have the, the type of, uh, the family type is basic wall generic eight inches. And this specific instance of that family is controlled by all of these settings. That doesn't mean that these can't have the same settings, these other walls. But if I select that wall and I change anything here, I'm only affecting the wall that is right here that I have selected. Um, one thing to notice in Revit, you can also select like that, like you could in AutoCAD. So if you drag from left to right, it's only what's completely in that window. And if we do the same thing, but you drag the opposite direction, you'll grab anything that touches this window. So, the difference from that to this. Um, so, right now, all of our walls have the same settings. The base constraint is the ground, base offset 0, 0. So what does this all mean? So in order to see this a little bit clearer, 
let's start off by looking at a three d view.